All right, so we are doing this problem, 21.36. It basically starts giving us two point charges at points, negative four at the origin, negative six at point eight, and then giving us six different questions of basically two concepts. The first, ABC, is finding the electric field at some points, point two, one point two, and negative point two, and then the D, E, and F are finding the electric force at those same points. So let's go down to part A and C. For this, we're going to be using this nice equation right here. E equals kq over r squared, where E is the electric field, k is the constant, q is the charge, and r is, of course, the distance. So like it tells us, we have a point here at the origin. This is a negative 4 charge. A point here at point 8. This is a negative 6 charge. And then for A, we have an, our third point that we're finding the electric field at is point 2. So this is 0 0.8, this is 0 0.2, and that's of course 0. So we have a negative 4 charge here and a negative 6 charge here. So we're going to have to do this twice. We're going to do one force between these two points, and then one force between these two points. So we know our k constant is 9 times 10 to the 9th. We're just going to remember that. So the electric field between do this. So k times q of this first one, negative 4. So 4 times 10 to the negative 9th, which is negative, and then it's about 0 0.2 squared. And then we're at this next value, which is times 6 times 10 to the negative 9th over 0 0.6 squared. So what we're getting these 0.2 and 0.6 is the distance. So 0 0.2 right here, and then 0 0.6 right here, it's 0 0.8 minus 0 0.2. And electric fields go towards negative values. So why does it have these arrows going in? So right here, this point, it's being towards the left, which is why I have negative, and then it's being dragged towards to the right, which is why I have positive right here. So that's where I'm getting my signage. And then other than that, you just got to do solve that and get E equal to negative 749 minutes over coulombs. All right, for part B, we're basically using the exact same thing, still using the same equation. Is she further? Oh, there we go. Um, still using the same equation here, but we're going to have a little bit of a different picture. So now our point is at 1.2 over here, and this is still 0.8. Um, so we have some new distances between our points. But it's basically the exact same thing. E equals, so now both the negative 4 and the negative 6 are dragging them to the left. So they're both negative. Negative k times 4 times 10 to the negative 9th, and this is a distance of 1.2 with it, and then minus k, because we are going to the left, of 6 times 10 to the negative 9th, and this one now has a distance of 0.4 squared. 62 newtons over coulombs. Oh, wait, now. Yeah, it's 0.8, and we're going to 1.2, so it is 0.4. Okay. And then the third one. Now we are at negative 0.2. This is still 0.8. Great. So we have E equals. And now these are pulling them to the right, so we have positive. This is 0.2 squared, it's certainly negative, but it's squared, so it all goes positive. Over, and this is 1 squared, because we have 0.8 and 0.2, so from there that is a distance of 1. And this one's going to be about... 953 newtons over coulombs. 
Now for part D, E, and F, we're going to use a new equation. These we are finding the force now. As you can see, the net electric force, and it's the same distances. So for D here, we're going to use this equation, K, Q, Q over R squared, Coulomb's law. We go back over here to where we have our point 0.2 and at 0 0.8. So for D, it's basically the exact same thing, but now you're using both your charges. And I believe it says an electron, which is important because you need your electron charge. Which is 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th, and it is totally negative because it is an electron. So for D, you have your F net would be equal to K times 4 times 10 to the negative 9th, which is your charge of this first one, times the 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th over their distance apart, which is 0 0.2 squared. So this is a negative charge, this is a negative charge, this is a negative charge, which means these two are repulsive. So one is pushing three towards the right, which is why I put positive right here. And then between these two, this is going to push it towards the left, so I am going to go ahead and put in a negative sign right there. Times 6 times 10 to the negative 9th times your charge of your electron times the distance, or divided by the distance between those squared. And when we solve that out, we get 1.2 times 10 to the negative 16 newtons, because this is a force. And then E and F are the exact same thing, you just need to watch these signs. So whether you have a positive or negative, which you have to see if they are repelling or attracting each other, and of course the distances. When you're over here, it's going to be 1.2 and 0.4, and when you're over here, you're going to have a 0.2 and a 1. But then you have to check positive and negatives, but here are the answers to those if you want to check.